Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Robeson. Welcome to my family room for this year's Oh Dear Christmas is Here. Know about you but I always find it challenging every year to break things up to make them look different than they did the year before that's super important to me and to take my decorations and move them to other locations this year I decided to keep my family room similar to what it is year-round in that this butternut squash velvet it's a crushed velvet these are my favorite pillows they're so comfortable they go so beautifully with my area rug which certainly doesn't change for Christmas, and it just leads on in. I feel like I kept with my similar theme to the rest of my house, but in here, rather than being quite so white and snowy, it has more of a woodsy look to it. The first thing you see when you walk into this room is this wall right here. So I've created a very, very symmetrical look. And I did that by keeping my two lamps. Then I had the guys come in and yes, they took my fresh plants, my real plants out, put them up in the wardrobe room, and I replaced them with stands that have these amazing icy twig trees on them. I found these at market this year and I just think they are dreamy. And right here to my left and right, are the most beautiful candles. Uh, they're not just candles, they're candle holders, but I think these are gorgeous with the black and brass. I kept the focus on not only the butternut squash color, but also black. I have black on my coffee table, black on my lamps on either side, and then the bases of these gorgeous candles are also black. These are battery operated and they are beautiful. Now, as in all the things you're gonna see in my videos this year, 90% of everything you see, 95% of everything you see is available on the Amber Marie website. And there'll be a link in the description box below if you see something that you'd be interested in having in your home. How many of you remember my old book pages wreath? I have a DIY on that. We will put a link in the description box below if you would like to learn how to make one of these for yourself. I think that just kind of creates this perfect symmetrical crescendo so it works out from a stylistic standpoint. All of this leads your eye to this coffee table. I have one of my cheese boards. It's made out of a live edge wood piece. Love this piece. It brings that butternut squash color back into the center of the room. Do you see the balance that I'm creating here? And then three of these beautiful Christmas trees I got from Amber Marie, and then a couple of deer that I already had. Then I used these icy picks that are available as well from Amber Marie, and I just made a very simple, simple grouping of things here right on the coffee table. It's low, there's still room to work around. Now, I will be honest. I will likely be changing this this year as it gets closer to Christmas in December and I will put a puzzle on this table because Scott, my son, and his partner Rick are coming for Christmas and Rick and I, we are like challenging puzzlers. It's puzzling actually, the whole thing, it's just puzzling. Let me give you a piece of advice when it comes to decorating your home for Christmas. I did the same thing that I do when I decorate normally throughout the year. And that is, I looked at the room and I asked myself, how do I wanna feel in that room? Now for me, my Christmas decorations are up much longer than most people, a minimum of three months because I decorate in September. September, October, November, four months. Like I said, a minimum of three, definitely four, sometimes five. Anyway, that's a long time to have your Christmas decorations up. What I wanted to feel when I walked into this room was I wanted it to feel sophisticated, classy, warm, inviting, calming, peaceful. Now, if I had my decorations up for a month, which most of you do, I might be all into the, you know, the flashing jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, oh. but for five months, you can get really tired of that. You know what I mean? So 
I decided I was gonna do something that I would love to walk into that would have a great first impression for Christmas, but be something I could live with peacefully. Take a look at what this wall looked like the first year that I lived here. I had reeds in my windows. They were so pretty and they were pretty from the outside too. And I do love that look. If you do that, that's awesome. I can't do that anymore because I have Alexa, turn on good night. Shades in my windows. And when those puppies come down, those reeds would have gotten like knocked all over the place. Instead, I decided I was gonna make this my focal point on this wall. So this is my favorite reindeer of all time. It's brass, he's huge. I've always thought, what's his name gonna be? Randolph, whatever. I just decided this is Rudolph because he's the lead, he's the star. And yes, he has a shiny red nose. So by adding a, a beautiful ribbon around his neck, it just sort of adorns him in such a way. Ah! And hitting the wall with his antlers. Rudolph, you're so uh, ADD. Oh wait, no, that's me. <laughs> I think this corner turned out so cool. In the past, every Christmas that I can think of forever, I've had a, it's like a ladder bookshelf kind of thing that you can put accessories on. I've accessorized them for Christmas. This year I wanted to do something different and guess what? I was at market and I found these really cool pillars that are actually candle stands. And then I bought these two gorgeous pots and I love the fact that it came in two shapes on the lower stand I used the tall one on the taller stand I used the short one and then I filled it in with some beautiful picks this pick actually it's not a pick it's a spray you know the difference in fact I didn't know the difference for a long time a pick is usually it has one stem to it and it has like a poof to it right when you have a spray it's a, a stem but it has pieces coming off like this. It's much larger, so it's a spray of greens. So that's a spray, and you're gonna see that all over. But, notice this. When I have my sprays, I actually cut them and use them. Just because something comes on the metal, you know, the stem, doesn't mean it has to stay that way. I cut my, my sprays, my twigs, all the, all the time to get what I want. So I cut off a few pieces so that the greenery with the little touches of snow and ice would connect with this piece here as well as with all the other pieces. I think that the consistency of the greens that you use and the decorations, the ribbons, the bows, really makes for a classy look in your room and that is also what makes your decorations look peaceful. Let me take you over and show you this side. I think now is a good time for me to make a statement. You might think because I decorate with deer <laughs> that I think Christmas is about reindeer. It's actually not. It's about Jesus. Christmas is the birth of Jesus and we celebrate that in our household and in our family. Many of you do not and that's fine. I'm just telling you our traditions and uh, I always have to have a manger scene. I love this little Jesus with the straw, Mary and Joseph. I bought this at market this year and I loved it because look at this, it has the color, that's part of my color scheme that I used in the other rooms in particular. So here's where Jesus sits, right behind me. I want you to know this is where my head sits all the time when I'm watching TV. This wall here, let's take a look at what this looks like year round. It typically has four pieces of art, depending on how I've decorated in the room. If you've seen the other videos in some of the other rooms of my house, you'll know that I did purchase Christmas art. And I came across this one. It wasn't really what I was thinking I was looking for, but I loved it because these colors are represented in my pillows. It leads you on into the kitchen, which is the perfect color palette. I have a piece of art right around the corner here and the colors go so perfectly together so that's not a, an abrupt like, oh, that's pretty and then, oh, that's completely different, right? So there's that flow and connection even with the art pieces. But this lamp I love and I added a bow to it to give it that old fashioned street light. 
So I did that, but here, what I want you to notice is, look at this, this is a bench, the snow is coming down, the branches on the tree, which go beautifully with my branches, trees over there, and then this light post, it's like a town version. I wonder what that is. I think it's a mailbox or, I don't know what that is. I don't have my glasses on, so it could be a person. If this is a person, I apologize in advance. That pretty much wraps it up for my family room. It's a small room, so it doesn't take too long to go through it. I hope you like how it turned out. If you're curious as to what's going on behind me here, uh, it's a little dark. Well, if you've watched any of the other videos in the this series of 2023 Christmas, um, what I can tell you is that each room that I'm filming, I turn all the lights off in the surrounding rooms so that you can't see what's in there until it's time. However, at the very end of all these videos, and I think there's gonna be seven or eight, I'm gonna do an all house tour, at which point every room will be lit and you'll be able to see it in relation to the other rooms and where they are. And I've got some things saved for that video that you don't see here. You're likely watching this within the first couple of weeks that this goes up, which means it's the early part of November. Can I encourage you to get started on your Christmas decorating earlier than you normally do because it comes so fast. I mean, Thanksgiving and then Christmas exactly a month later. How are you supposed to do all your Christmas shopping? How are you supposed to do your Christmas cards and go to all the parties and Christmas decorate and make Christmas dinner all in one month and still work and still be a mom and still be a daughter and still have all the things you have to do? It's a lot. So getting your Christmas decorating done early is just one thing that you can like go, ah. If you are interested in knowing more about how to decorate, because a lot of you are right now either buying things that you're gonna use this year or you're getting your stuff out, you're gearing up, you're deciding which day you're gonna decorate, may I suggest that you treat yourself to the design sessions version of Christmas. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you. We have this digital library of interior design content, and it's a subscription-based model, and people absolutely love it. It's life-changing. On that design session thing, we have Christmas videos where I go way more into depth of how to decorate in every room of your house, every aspect. This year we decided to do something. They're still on the design sessions, but if you are only interested in the Christmas decorating videos, we have bundled them and packaged them in such a way that you can purchase the whole 17 episodes, learn everything there is to know about how to decorate for Christmas and decorate with confidence and joy. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below to my new website. It's RebeccaRobeson.com. You can sign up there, learn more about it. I hope you'll take me up on that. It's also a really great thing to give as a gift to your best friend, your mom, your sister, whoever it is that you know also loves decorating. And oh, when you buy the bundle of the Christmas videos, you own it for a lifetime. That's what's different than the design sessions. Design sessions, you own it as long as you're subscribed. If you purchase the bundled group, you own it for a lifetime. Okay, I love you guys. I look forward to seeing you. And oh, wait, remember that dark room in there? That's my kitchen. And that's gonna be the next video that goes up on my channel. All right, you guys, I'll see you then. Merry Christmas, and oh dear, Christmas is here!